Chris, well, it is National Human Trafficking Prevention Month, month, and tonight groups across the state are shining a light on the prevalence of the crime through a vigil. Raven Blue reports from Genesee County. We got together in solidarity to light our candles to bring awareness to the fact that this is right here in our backyard. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson and the Genesee Human Oppression Strike Team held a candlelight vigil in the lobby of the Sheriff's Office to commemorate Human Trafficking Awareness Month. We have millions of women, children that are being sold into slavery for human sex trafficking along with boys as well. And I get told every time, every day, oh, that doesn't happen here, but it does. Joined by Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, Voices for Children Advocacy Center, and other supporters, the group honored and remembered the victims and survivors of human trafficking with the goal of bringing awareness to the thousands more who are trafficked each day. I have adopted five children that have been human trafficked by their own parents. It's not always stranger danger. It's not always stranger danger. A lot of times it's somebody they know and love. We want people to, if they know something, say something. But a lot of people are afraid to do that. They're afraid of retaliation. It could be someone that they know, someone that they love, someone that they live with, and they're afraid to do that. Advocates calling on the community to help them in their fight to end human trafficking, saying that they are an important part. Everybody has the opportunity to do something. Everybody has the opportunity to spot human trafficking right in front of their faces. And if you would like to remain a anonymous when reporting human trafficking, you can contact Crime Stoppers. It's important to know that their information is followed up, so they do make a difference. It's not just, you know, put your information in and you don't even know what happens to it. Every voice matters. In Flint, Raven Blue, WNEM TV5. The Attorney General has a list of common red flags linked to human trafficking. Look out for victims who work and live at the same place, someone who may not know their address or may not be in control of their own money, Inconsist inconsistencies in someone's story or lack of personal documents like a license or a passport can also be a red flag.